Chief Education Officer Dr. Mona Archibacho, Director Change Management Unit, Change Management Unit, Dr. Paul Murphy, Senior Education Officers and other ministry officials. We want to acknowledge our coordinator and organizer, Ms. Wendy Griffith, Education Officer Ma, specially invited guests, parents, guardians, students, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the culmination of four weeks of intense reading and math intervention. Welcome to productivity. Welcome to class. Welcome to excellence. Welcome to the closing ceremony of Summer School 2024. My learning, my future, this is me. I am Gloria E. Gaines, your hostess for the morning, and I want to invite Miss Wendy Griffith to give us the official welcome. Let's welcome her as she comes. We used to sing a chorus and it's so nice to see so many smiling faces. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Hayes. Senior Education Officer, Dr. Ramona Archer Bradshaw. Director, Change Management Unit, Dr. Paul Murphy. Senior Education Officer, Ms. Patricia Warner, Principal of the St. Mary School, Ms. Grace Wickham, coordinators and facilitators, specially invited guests, parents, guardians, students, ladies and gentlemen, a very pleasant morning to you. A pleasant morning to you. But that sounds much better. Today, we are gathered here to mark the end of a memorable journey, Summer School 2024. It seems like only yesterday, I stood here to welcome you to the start of Summer School. How time has flown. Once again, I have the distinct pleasure on behalf of the Ministry of Education, Technological and Vocational Training to extend a warm welcome to all of you to this closing ceremony. A very special welcome to my colleagues from the Ministry of Education who were not here with us at the opening ceremony. Your presence today adds remarkable value to this gathering as we continue to celebrate under the theme, My Learning, My Future, This Is Me. This ceremony provides us with the opportunity to share the growth we have witnessed in our students as they took ownership of their learning to move in their reading and learning some fundamental concepts in mathematics. I will not reveal too much at this time, but I'm sure you will be very impressed, or may I say, blown away, when you see the learning resources which were made by the students who were ably assisted by their coordinators. Let's take a moment to appreciate the hard work, diligence, and dedication of our students and facilitators and the organizing team. A job well done. listen very carefully to, carefully to me at this time. It is with a sense of great joy and joy and pride that I can report we have witnessed growth in each of you. How well I remember the shy looks on your faces as you dance around the room at each other on the first day of summer school. Today, you are no longer strangers, but friends and buddies. You have shared laughter, learning, and I dare, dare say, lasting memories. As we bid you farewell, we encourage you to take the resources which you have made back to school and to use them confidently and proudly. They will continue to assist you as you learn. Um, uh, there, there is a uh, gentleman, B.B. King, who stated, and I quote, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it from you. And I want you to remember that no one can take what you have learned away from you. 
We expect you that you will take what you have learned here in summer school back into your classes next term. I challenge you to even share the resources with your classmates and your teachers. Parents, your presence here is testimony of your support for your children. Your involvement has been crucial. We thank you for entrusting them into our care for this intervention program. Do continue to forge partnerships with your children's school as this will help to continue the excellent work which we have started over the past four weeks. As I close, I invite you to sit back and enjoy the students' display of learning and creativity. Our children, our future, I thank you. Chief Education Officer Dr. Ramona archer Rashaw, Director of the Change Management Unit Dr. Paul Murthy, Senior Education Officer Patricia Warner, ladies and gentlemen, students, parents, good morning. My name is Jamar Davis and I am the coordinator for Summer School 2024. Now some four weeks ago, we welcomed approximately 70 students. The majority of them were boys. And as the saying goes, boys will be boys. And we surely had some naughty boys at times. Summer school this year was done under the theme, my learning, my future, this is me. These students came from a multiplicity of backgrounds, from the length and breadth of this island. And in true regional unity, we even had a Jamaican with us. Can I see you, Tyrese? That's babe. Well, go on, my youth. <laughs> and we even had a Colombian with us as well. Great. Raul, can you let them see you? Go on, it starts with Evo. At that time, in that first week, the looks on your faces were of fear. Some of you were excited. did not take long for you to become comfortable and for you to proclaim this is me. From day one we began to see who were the public speakers, the football enthusiasts, the artists, the singers and of course the fashionistas, the leaders, the helpers and the complimenters. And I must say hello to one student here. Every time I step through that door, good morning sir, you look really nice today. Of you has a God-given purpose. And whenever we met at 
prayers. I will always repeat Jeremiah 29, 11, which talks about God having what type of plans for our life? Pardon me? Good plans for our life. And having a bright future for our life as well. I want you to love yourself. I want you to dream big. Nazir, I want you to become that chef that you always wanted to become. Keila, I want you to become that cricketer. And Jeremiah, I want you to become that jockey. Now, if Rihanna did not dream big, would she be a millionaire today? No, she would not. And I have even found out recently that a, a former student of Lester Vaughan has actually made it to play for the NBA. Can you imagine coming from a small island like ours? And uh, one of our own is an NBA player. I hear the name Hassan. Hassan Ward. You have to persevere, students. It is through these keys that you will open the doors to a bright future. I don't know how many of you know Michael Jordan. Maybe I know you love to wear his shoes. The Jordans, for sure. He missed 9,000 shots and lost 300 games. And yet, he's known as one of the world's most famous basketball players. So as I conclude, I want you to stay safe as you enjoy the remainder of your summer vacation. May God bless you as you continue on your journey to a bright future. Master of Ceremonies. What a riveting address this morning, and I'm sure that you enjoyed that. And I want to take the opportunity at this time to acknowledge our steel pan player, Seth Turton. We want to thank um, facilitator Shamel Edwards for the opening prayer. We also want to thank Miss Wendy Griffith for her remarks, as well as coordinator Jamar Davis for the remarks. Thank you very much at this time. Give them a round of applause. was in the form of music. And we want to invite facilitator Monique Scantlebury Hines. She's a musician and music educator extraordinaire at Lawrence Decay. We want to welcome her as she introduces our students. They're going to do our rap sound. Okay, give them a wonderful
enjoy that song. I want to invite the musicians back again. And we want to, you to drop that beat again so that we can be involved. And we're just going to say, my learning, my future. <laughs> Drop the beat. And it will require a lot more from us. 
months, you know, we've been doing it a particular way every year. I'm willing, but it will require a lot more. And we sat and we talked through how we could actually implement the project-based approach. And I'm so happy this morning to know that it has been a success. So please give the team at the Ministry a round of applause. approach mean for our students and it's about them taking control of their learning. It isn't about sitting down and listening to a teacher all day long, giving lectures, writing notes and so on. It's about students asking questions, trying to solve problems and applying their knowledge to everyday situations. And as I'm sitting here, as I'm standing here now, I'm looking at the back and getting all excited about these projects that I'm seeing here from a distance. So the problem that was identified uh, is that students struggle with reading and math because they're not exposed enough to using concrete materials during instruction. And often their learning styles are not considered. If we read the literature in the area of teaching mathematics and reading, it is replete with evidence that suggests that manipulatives help to develop students' conceptual understanding and that gamification or the use of games serve to motivate students, reinforce concepts, and provide engagement and enjoyment. Children, learning is supposed to be fun. Did you enjoy summer school? Yes. Do you, you want to come back next week? No. Because it is because of you 
that our children have an opportunity for a bright future. And they had a taste of it for over four weeks. Four weeks of intense immersion dealing with literacy and numeracy. They're not going to be here for the next four weeks. They're going to be with you, or with Granny, or with Uncle, or with Auntie. So I need you to sustain this effort. I need you to give them the support that they need. We can liken it to oxygen. I want you to give them oxygen. When the body doesn't have oxygen, what happens to it? It dies, it flatlines. We don't want these children to flatline. It is their future that we are dealing with. And all hands need to be on deck so that we can make a difference in their lives. I love the presentation here just now by Mr. Jarvis. That's his name, correct? Davis. When he spoke about all these great persons, the athletes, the musicians, I'm going to mention of the artists. You have potential children. And I want you to realize that your parents are invested in you. The Ministry of Education is invested in you. You need to be invested in yourselves. You need to be invested in yourselves. You have to look at life and say, you see me? I am going to be this. I'm going to be a great athlete. I'm going to be like Sadia Williams that I will watch tomorrow. I'm going to be like Sadia Williams. But you don't wake up one morning and be Sadia Williams. Every day, imagine it. Sadia Williams has to train. She has to eat right. She has to exercise. I want you to think about your future in that way. Not just living life from day to day. You want to be a good basketballer? But if you want to be a good basketballer, you still need to know English and math, though. Because when you throw the ball, you got to throw the ball at a certain angle so that it can go into the hoop. And if you don't understand angles, you can't understand how to throw the ball properly. You understand what I'm saying? So I want you to take hold of your learning because we are going to create the environment for you that when you take hold of that learning, it will take root and you will be able to grow and develop. Again, ladies and gentlemen, our ministry assures you that every effort is being made to ensure that this much needed and critical initiative remains a life-changing experience for each child. Summer school hustle, day and night, Preparing for my future, shining bright. Continue to shine bright, my dear students. Thank you.
would respond to the instruction being provided. Each child in the class was given the opportunity to learn in his or her own unique way, which made it even more interesting. This gave the students the confidence to know that even though they, that they learn differently and at different rates, the most important thing to remember is that they learn. And finally, the activities. In terms of the activities that were suggested, those activities that were implemented in my classroom, and also the activities that I was given the opportunity to observe, definitely rekindled my passion for teaching mathematics. The way that the students were allowed to develop and create activities to highlight the ways in which they learn was truly inspiring. Of course, most definitely, it was tiring, but to be honest, the way that the children were responding to the instruction was really giving me that energy, was keeping me energized, so I, it was worth it. Because of the small group that I was given, I was able to keenly monitor those students, see how they responded to the instruction, and then made the necessary adjustments to ensure that learning was maximized. To me, it was truly an eye-opening experience. I learned a lot. I'm more sure that they learned a lot as well. We had fun while learning. They were engaged. They were attentive. And it built their confidence, especially in solving problems, which will also help them in real life situations. So the school is not perfect, but it's definitely worth it. opportunity to thank Dr. Ramona Archeracha for her comments this morning. Very thought booking. And we are going to be prepared now for another selection by our students. And this time is in the form of dance. And we will invite the land ship crew to join us.
give them another round of applause. And I'm not going to ask for her to drop any music at all. So we want to thank you again. And she, he, he looks as though he's ready to go again. So we want to thank you so much. We're going to be here now for the presentation of certificates. We start first with Aria Archer.
This is Patricia Warner to join us with the chief for the next seven presentations.
Lashley.
I'm not from Barbados. However, my lineage is here and I live here. I'm from London, England, and I moved to Barbados about six years ago. My name is Israel Allen, and I'm a singer-songwriter from the UK, and I currently now live and reside in Barbados. Uh, for the past two years, I have had the pleasure of working with Mrs. Gloria and Mrs. Griffin with the summer school to be able to do singing with the guys. Um, these guys are great, this is a new batch this year, so there's something a little bit different from last year. And but to be honest, one thing I've learned about Barbados is Barbados has some immensely talented musicians and singers. It really, it really is impressive and it's not even just adults, but to be able to hear some of the guys that I heard over the last three to four weeks has really been a, a blessing and um, gratification to my heart. So the song I'm going to sing today is one of my favourite songs. I remember singing back in England. It's from a film called The Greatest Showman and it's called This Is Me. A little bit about myself. Um, I was diagnosed with ADHD and dyslexia when I was in school. I found it very hard to keep up with the rest of the students and all those different things in school. So I know what it's like to be kind of held back or be kind of put aside. I wasn't stupid, it's just that my mind just took a little bit longer than everybody else's. <laughs> and I just needed a bit more time. Uh, cut a long story short, I ended up leaving school, I went back to school. It's not until I got older that I actually understood certain things. And I was like, oh, that's what that means. And it taught me to go back into an educational facility to be able to really understand. Because when I left school, I vowed that I would never step into an educational facility ever again. Just because I thought that the experience that I had, because I was trying to keep up with everybody else, was very traumatic. Time is a healer, as they say, and I was able to give that time. They were also able to learn and take in what I was able to do later on. A few years later on, I found the courage to go back into school at the age of 18, and the things that I didn't know when I was younger, I was able to learn afterwards, and I got all the qualifications that I needed to get. I went on to do some amazing things with some amazing artists because I made the courage to step back in. I shared this story with the children simply to let them know that. The analogy I used was, there is one bridge town, however there are many roads to get to bridge town. And it doesn't matter what road you take, as long as you're, ad as long as you're ambitious and you're driven to get there, all you have to do is get there. Yeah? So, my encouragement to, my encouragement to these children is, it may take you a year, it may take you five, it may take you ten. But as long as you can reach the goal, I say you've made it, it's all worth it. Yeah? So this one's called This Is Me, so can you please give a round of applause to the yeah. summer school choir?
PE teacher at St. George Primary School, and I do want to thank my colleagues, Demisha Crony, Antonio Yard, and Anderson Gittins. Just give me a wave, Mr. Gittins. opportunity to come into summer school to give our, no, give our time to really help the children have some fun and to enjoy movement. Uh, we realize in Barbados that PE is a little bit misunderstood. People think PE is hard work or whatever, but realistically we just want the children to enjoy movement and to have fun movement. So once again, thank you for the opportunity and uh, we look forward to next year.